just had to draw. We were drawing in the 123rd minute. How have we bottled that? Oh, God. <coughs> Bakari Gassama, you should never... Bakari Gassama! Don't talk to me about Bakari Gassama, you little mag. Oh, God. Another World Cup without... Oh, God. This is quite hard for me because, like, I don't know what to say. I don't mind losing. I can take an L. We went out in the group stage of AFCON, got over it. I can take losing. It happens, you have winners and losers. To, to completely dominate a, a football game um, and to not have the opportunity to play fairly and to have other factors influence, that's what makes it worse and when you have the pure emotion of, you know, scoring the goal with literally like two, three minutes left, the goal that takes your country to the World Cup, and if anyone from any country can relate to this, and then tears of happiness, and then moments later, it just gets shot down. It's... It's really, like, you, you genuinely, I don't think we'll ever see a football match like that ever again. I guarantee you, you could watch maybe another 10,000 football games and you won't see that scenario again. I, th I just think that's absolutely extraordinary to... You can, you can... You can watch all the football games for the rest of your life to to equalise pretty much with two minutes of extra time to go and to just scream your heart out and then to lose in the fourth minute, the, the 124th minute and it's basically, you've got, you've got fans there that have been there all day They've been there all day, literally from lunchtime, they've been singing their heart out and we played so well, like, <laughs> we played, we actually played alright, we did, the, we nowhere near deserved to lose that, we did not deserve to lose that game, we should have won that game after 90 minutes, there were so many wrong things, so many wrong things, and I'm really put off football, particularly African football, I'm, I'm alienated. The level of officiating was complete, utter shambles, like genuinely. Okay, I don't know, I'm so sad. I'm not gonna make another video. I'm not making another video, I'm so sorry. And I know there are people that will feel like me. And I know Belmadi will probably be gone. Belmadi, the way the way Belmadi dropped to the field, he's gone. Whether he resigns or gets fired or whatever, he's he's out the door. It's the end of an era. So many players will be. This end of probably Mbolhi. It's probably the end of Slimani. There's, there's a lot of man. Our people. We have the best fans in the world. We have the best fans in the world, and no one, no stupid corruption, CAF, FIFA, whoever. No one can take away where the, we have the we have the best fans in the world, and it's not a debate because we do, and that's why I say we're massive because which 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 flags do you see at every club game? Literally every club game you see our flag. Who else would sell out? Would would fill the stadium ten hours before the kickoff? Like who who does that? That's why we're massive. That's why, and we still are. It doesn't change that. Um. This is really hard to take because we were genuinely 10 seconds from a World Cup. Losing 3-0 would have been much nicer. We were 10 seconds from a World Cup. Yeah.
It's weird. Funny old game. Um, I really don't want to talk about the game because I'm not in a good place right now <clears throat> in terms of like tactics and systems, but I will. Um, the, the first mistake, well, obviously the stadium was full, you know, and I think that adds pressure. And how are we not qualified? How are we not qualified? How are we not <coughs> I don't know, this is, this is, you know what, what are we going to do in, in November? I'm so glad Ramadan's coming up because, you know, guys, just have a good Ramadan because, yeah. Um, we, um, well, stadium was full, as expected. Pretty much hours before the kickoff, fans are amazing. Fans are amazing. Yes, they threw chairs and bottles on the pitch. I don't blame them. We will, we will get on to the officiating. We'll get on to the referee. By the way, get down, spec savers. You're blind as a bat. Ridiculous. Oh my god. Who appoints these guys? They're useless. Oh man, we're not going to the. Oh man, this is like. Okay, so we we. Uh... This feels like years ago we st I saw the team sheet. Five at the back, um, one change. Should never have played five at the back. Because you play five at the back and you concede. No, but you, you, you're kind of in a limbo. Um, Rice and Bolhi in goal. The team was pretty much the same as the first leg. Um, Benny Arda kept his place at right wing back. We put Yusuf Atal at left wing back. But Dodane came back in with Ben Lamry. And uh, Mandy with Benassa Zaruki, Mores, Slimani and Belayli. But... Uh, I honestly, I five at the back. These fans, did not wait all day to see five at the back. Five at the back. We did the five at the back in the first leg. You flew Saeed Ben Rahma to Algiers to eat some Gulbaluz and take him back to Chadwell Heath. Oh my God. Anyway, it should have been Tuba because Atal has got no left foot. He's got no, he was playing cam, centre mid, right wing, left wing. He wasn't defending, man. Tuba, as proven by when he came on, had to start at left wing back. And I think there's one positive, and trust me, there's barely any positives here. It is that we have Tuba in our team. What a player. Top player. Top lad. Um, well, this is the thing. Um, Belayli had a massive chance. He had a massive chance. I should stop saying the word massive. Belelli had a huge chance, like he should have scored it in the first half. The Cameroon goal from True Promoting, by the way, was we dominated. And um, he made a mistake and came for the cross, didn't get it. Um, we could have had three penalties in about two minutes. The first one wasn't a pen. The second one's ironic because it's handball, but he said it wasn't handball. But then when Slimani scored in extra time, he said it was handball. So that doesn't make much sense. Well, Slimani had... Um, Quite a few goals disallowed for whatever reason. Can't blame Slim. He put the ball in the net twice. They just chopped it off. And then the third pen on Bel on um, Belayli or whatever was a clear pen. So we had three penalties not given in the first half. Okay, not even checked on the VAR monitor. He only checked the monitor when it was for Cameroon. Mug. I know it was a bit dodgy when Eto was in Algiers, like um, before the actual Cameroon team were. Like he was going to play. They didn't even have a Bubakar man. They literally didn't even have a Bubakar on the pitch. Um, yeah. They scored against a runner play, and Bolhi's got to work on coming for crosses. But to be fair, in the second half, and Bolhi made a terrific double save that basically kept us into extra time. Slimani had the first goal disallowed for offside. It was very, very close call, and very harshly given. We, we dominated the second half. We actually dominated the whole of extra time. I wasn't actually scared of Cameroon scoring in extra time. But the referee is a disgrace. An absolute disgrace. All of those little mugs in the VR monitor do a bit of that when it's only against us. Ridiculous. Simone's second goal should never have been disallowed. Um, Zaruki shouldn't have played. Adeline should have played. Gudura should have played. Obviously, Faguli was, was injured. Faguli or Bundubka. Well, not Faguli. Faguli was injured. Gudura or Bundubka should have played. Zaruki, yellow card. One for the future. It's a big game to put Zaruki in. Benassa's ready for it. I don't think Zaruki is ready for it. Not that Zaruki's bad. I just think don't. It's a big game. Um, 
we miss Ben Sabani at left back. Um, obviously, obviously now we're going to probably not get these new players on board. They're not going to want to play for us. Uh, Mardi will be out the door. The way the players dropped to the ground was just incredible. Um, okay, so the, the subs Ben Mardi did do were actually quite good. We had Tuba on, Gazelle on, Gazelle's cross, Tuba's header, 1-1, one, one, two minutes to go. I think Belfa Dillon to waste time. And then Cameroon get a free kick. It's literally the first four minutes added, by the way, God knows why. It's literally the first attack Cameroon had in the whole of the bloody extra time. And they scored from it. And then the ref blew the whistle. That ref is a mag. Like, honestly, I can't believe it. I don't even care who's qualified in the other games. I'm really sorry. If your nation made it, congratulations. Enjoy the World Cup. If your nation didn't make it, you know, it's, it's, I'm done with African football, I'm really done, it's such a shame, it's a real shame, African football will never go forward like this, this is why we only have five places, look at this mess man, and we did the hard part, we went to Douala and we won, we, this is awful man, why couldn't I, I wouldn't have it any other way, I'm glad I'm Algerian, I wouldn't have it any other way, so, yeah. Not going to watch the World Cup. The draw's on Friday. I was buzzing for it. I can't even be bothered to play football manager. I don't know what I'll do. Probably fast for 30 days. And then Eid. And then, um... Oh. I don't know, really. When's the next game for us? AFCON qualifiers, I guess? This team would have done something at the World Cup. This is one of those what-ifs. This is one of those big what-ifs, because this team would have done so. We, we've missed a World Cup in the, in the Middle East. We've missed a World Cup in Qatar. We won the bloody practice tournament for the World Cup in Qatar. We're not going to be there. What a disaster. Diabolical mess. Um, I have a criticism of Mares. He's definitely not performing to the levels he does with Manchester City. That is a big, a, a big annoyance to me. Players work so hard, though. They work very hard. Robbed, and you can tell they're frustrated. Oh my god, the way we scored, and then, oh, oh. yeah. Well, I don't really know what to say now. Um, I'm lost for words. I have no motivation to do anything. I've lost my appetite. Yeah. See this. The best football team in the world, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I wouldn't have it any other way. Because we have the best fans in the world, the best people, the most amazing vibes, and what a what a proud country to be from. What a proud country, and we will be back. I don't know when. I don't know if I'll be around to see it. I don't know if I'll be here, but um, all, all praise be to Allah, that's what I say, and to him we return. I'm sorry guys, I'm really sorry, two World Cups in a row we won't be going to, Mahrez is not going to probably play at another World Cup, Mahrez isn't, Mahrez isn't going to go, oh god, but Mardi will be gone, it'll be a new era, probably Bulgaria, Bulgaria will probably come in, um, yeah, okay, well, so you can mock it if you want. Go on, have your laugh. I can take banner. Have your laugh. Have your laugh. I take all football banner in it. Like, I guess as a neutral, it probably does look quite funny if you go on like the scores app and see what's happened. Um, but yeah. Oh, and by the way, Morocco and Tunisia made it as well. Brilliant. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't really fun, is it? It's not really probably not that fun to watch. Shocking. Official shocking, Cameroon shocking. We we played five competitive games this year and we've won one of them and it was in Douala against Cameroon. Funny old game. We scored two goals each. They won on a stupid away goals rule. Why didn't they do what UEFA did and get rid of it? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I feel sorry for the fans. I feel sorry for the fans because they haven't got much going on. They've got a football team to cheer for and and yeah. Okay.